what's happening y'all y'all already know what the deal is man hit that like button and hit that subscribe button you feel me don't cost you nothing my guy hit that subscribe button hit that like button it helps out for real and if you're a real one you're gonna contribute you know see that's all i'm asking player player let's go what's happening with my folks man today we're gonna talk about the serenos the essays man and uh, if you guys been subscribed for a while already and watch my videos you guys probably already know that i've done a lot of time in high desert and then, you know what I'm saying, coming from the four yard down to the three yard. Four yard there, I was on a C yard, dropped points, went to A yard. Now, when I was on A yard, we had just got off lockdown. No, no, we was off lockdown on C yard already. So, A yard, uh, man, our numbers were super low, bro. I'm talking about in the morning yard. Morning yard was even the, the lowest because... Homies go to work, you know what I'm saying, behind the wall in the, in the kitchen. So they're not really out there on morning yard. Homies are in school during morning yard. So you feel me? I remember at one time, bro, in the, you feel me, nigga, there was only like six homies on the yard. Like 60 Southsiders. Another 60 um, white boys. And the white boys out there are big as hell. I'm talking like corn fed white boys. And they ain't playing them skidheads. Them skidheads, them skinheads, my nigga, they ain't playing at all. They they with the business, you feel me? I done seen these dudes, who do some crucial removal <laughs> for real. Shout out to shout out to all the skinheads in, that was in high desert with man. Had a good line of communication with them too, but uh, that's a whole different story, whole different topic. If y'all want to hear the time in with the skinheads and they removals, whew, <laughs> let me know in the comments and I might drop that one for y'all. But the Southsiders, man, we had a good communication, a line of communication with the Southsiders uh in high desert, uh. As far as when I was there, everything was smooth after the lockdown because we was at war with them for a while. And uh, I'm not going to get into that in this video. If you guys want to hear that one, too, about the war with the Southsiders in High Desert, drop a comment. Let me know if you guys want that, and I'll do that for y'all. But, um, man, after that, man, it was like it was cool because um, even some of the Southsiders I was on the four yard with, End up seeing them again on the level three yard at High Desert. So it was like, yeah, you know I'm saying we spent a lot of years in that motherfucker together, man. So you build, you, you actually build this kind of relationship, a friendship. Because I was a porter most of the time, you feel me? I was a tear runner. I was always at my cell. Um, even when I didn't get pulled out to be a porter, I was a, I was a, uh, I was a tutor. That, that was my job. My job in prison was a, a school tutor, but I was a building tutor. So, I wasn't a tutor inside the school, in the classroom. I was a tutor, like, after school hours. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if somebody that's taking their GED test or whatever, and they needed some help with homework or, you know what I'm saying, preparing for GED, then, they, you feel me? I was able to have the COs pop my door and walk the tears. And most of the time, ain't no one did no motherfucking homework. My nigga, we just, I'm just passing shit for the homies half the time. Passing bangers, passing kites, nigga. Uh, passing shit for all races practically I was pretty much just an extra porter That they used to clean up shit But that, it was cool Especially when we went on lockdown But with the Southsiders Like nigga it was good Like just to clarify it For the ones that don't know Like man it was just a line of communication Respectful and like Nigga I would always trade CDs with them Always Music you feel me uh, They're the ones who put me on Nipsey I didn't know nothing about no Nipsey Hustle, nigga. They put me on Nips. His, some of his mixtapes, his early mixtapes. Uh, Mitchie Slick. They put me on Mitchie Slick. They put me on, uh, who else them niggas from LA? Schoolboy Q or is that, I don't know, some other way. But I had Halle Massey Moore, Filthy Ridge, E-40, Sebo. You feel me? So I was putting them up on that. All that live wire shit, you know what I'm saying? And, uh. Nigga, whenever they hit on package, they instantly come into my door like, here you go, primo, here you go, pri, here you go this, here you go, canal, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. And they sliding me shit, nigga, on the string. When I hit on canteen, ugh, I'm sliding them son. You feel me? That's, that's, it was just, it was good like that, bro. I don't know if it was like how that, how that, uh, line of communication is on other prisons, but the ones I'm speaking for high desert, when I was there, it was good like that, man. Uh. Especially on A-Yard in my building. Three block. Lower tier. Them niggas, uh. 
Them niggas always showed mad love, nigga, especially with the Pruno, too. They was making the Pruno. I was whipping up the White Lightning. Y'all don't know nothing about the White Lightning. I slide them drink. They slide me drink. Like, you feel me? Like, because we'll be on lockdown. I fish that motherfucker like, uh, nigga, <laughs> nigga, fuck that for the ship, got it. <laughs> you feel me? And, uh, nigga, there was always, like, except for that one time when that one San Jose Southsider came through trying to kick up dust. <laughs> but other than that, nigga, it was good. Uh, nigga, they always showed mad respect, we did vice versa, always looked out, if we ever needed anything, for some reason, if we didn't have no porters, no tear runners out there, they they would always uh, come check on us, hey, what's up, you guys need anything passed, I noticed they didn't let your people out, you feel me, to help clean or whatever, yeah, we we whoop or not, then it's good. And vice versa, man. So it's not like I say that all this to say, man, it's not always tension. You feel me? It's only tension when it gets when it's time for business, man. And that's it's just business. That's all it is. So there's been times where like nigga, it's cool. Now I don't know how it is nowadays. Motherfuckers playing handball and shit together and cards and whatnot, cause I wasn't there during the when got to that time. I had paroled already right before that. But uh yeah, I heard it's a lot different now, man. A whole lot different. If you guys want to hear them other videos, man, I, now that I got the talking, I feel like there will be some dope videos to drop about the war in high desert, how it started. Skinheads in high desert. Whew, the motherfuckers ain't no joke, bro. Corn fed ass white boys. Or the South, uh, I mean, the blacks. The, the Kumis, man. I function with the Kumis. Dumb tough, bro. Shout out the 415ers, man. My, man. my Oakland niggas, man. Straight up. Shout out T.Y., man. If T.Y. out there listening, man, hopefully you got out by now, man. Uh, you feel me? Real solid nigga, man. Oakland. East Oakland. You feel me? Uh, and it is what it is, man. Like I said, it's not always tension on the yard, man. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button.